Hey, I'm Alden, the Twin Flame Psychic, and I have a reading for you for the month of September, channeled from your Divine Masculine Twin Flame. And if you are the Divine Masculine, then definitely stay tuned to see how this message resonates for you and um, yeah, like just what you are receiving from it personally in your heart and how it can propel your twin flame journey forward and uh, point out places within you where you're perhaps doing well or where you want to go deeper with loving yourself and your twin flame and so let's let's shuffle some cards and first I'm going to start out with the eternal crystals oracle it's a great deck shuffle these cards and see what the first message is. Alright, so let's cut the cards first. You know, make sure they're extra shuffly and cut. So, the first card is Honesty um, Seraphonite Heart and Third Eye Chakra. Okay? really beautiful obviously very green very lush nurturing the color associated with the heart chakra and it's also uh, depicted as um that here but also the third eye and uh so it's and it's kind of got this like line going through it in this particular depiction so what that's really saying here is to have honesty be a clear channel. And so your Divine Masculine is developing a clear channel to receive and to also be honest. And in that honesty in uh, his heart, in both your hearts, you're choosing as one uh, partnership, which means that you know, he no longer desires uh, inequality in your union, in your relationship. And so there's a rebalancing in his heart going on. And since you and your twin flame are one consciousness, if you're the divine feminine watching this, that means you're also in somewhere uh, choosing this if you are on your healing twin flame journey on your ascension uh, path basically with your twin flame whether you're in physical union or in separation or anywhere in between you can harmonize your union and you can totally check out the links below to help you with that you can schedule a discovery session with me and um, if you need to look at some stuff first to get clear then check out those other links too all right and uh, yeah, so honesty, I mean, what does honesty really mean? Well, honesty, true honesty is gonna build trust and it's gonna be the truth, the core truth, not just like, oh, your truth versus my truth, right? Or whoever's truth, your mom's truth. Um, it's the one truth. And sometimes to get clear on that truth, you have to uh, root out what isn't true by exploring it. If you are called to, that's, you know where we're at right now with consciousness right we're not like really in a place where uh, some things are completely clear yet and so it's okay to be a pioneer in those places if you feel called to and know that you're making it easier for everyone else to uh, choose to be with their twin flame as well if they want to and um, so the honesty here doesn't mean that necessarily uh, it's always been what seems to be honest either emotionally or like literally you know uh, but you gotta forgive your divine masculine if he's ever lied to you it doesn't mean oh I forgive you you know like let's just pretend it never happened I mean if you've gotten to that place yeah like you don't need to hold grudges you never need to hold guilt but it's also okay to have boundaries and for uh, anyone, including your twin flame, to really, you know, earn your respect, earn your trust. 
um, that is something that is earned and that's okay but you got to give someone the chance to be able to earn it right and so if you if your heart is so I'm just like huh, I don't know if you can hear that but a noise um, anyways so if uh, but if your heart is so closed off that like it feels like that right then um, you're not really able to give someone the opportunity even if you think you are, you're probably blocking that somewhere. So be honest with yourself with where you're blocking, perhaps. Uh, the incoming honesty from your Divine Masculine about how he is feeling. So let's pull another crystal card. The second one is going to be Unikite, live in the present, another heart chakra. And this is specific to just the heart chakra. The other one was also uh, talking about the third eye. And I would say like there was some crown energy too, just this alignment energy for the chakra system. And um, so this is really about, yeah, like you, if you want to harmonize your union, you do need to live in the present. You cannot hold on to what has happened in the past, good and or bad. It's not where you're vibing right now there are certain things about your past that are eternal that are true there are certain vibrations that you felt before that don't leave and when i say vibrations like you know those memories the nostalgia that you feel the good times so to speak they never really leave you but you can kind of separate yourself from that feeling by attaching it to something specific that you don't have right now like an event or a person or both whatever it is money that you know looks you're like different how you're making it than it was then and something about that oh it felt terrible but oh but I felt so good about this one part of it so you know what does that mean well if you start to overanalyze or you start to attach uh, like one little piece of something that felt good to the whole thing you can almost find yourself like running back towards that comfort zone which is the old vortex trying to take you back it doesn't mean that uh, you can't go deeper with your expertise your experiences of what you've done before like maybe you had a beautiful trip somewhere and you want to go back you're not going to try to like recreate that trip right but maybe there are certain things about it that you really desire to go back to a certain place or something. And as long as you're releasing expectations and living in the present, that's gonna help open up your heart chakra. So it's um, it's just about not, uh, not getting stuck, you know? Not getting stagnant, you gotta go with the flow and choosing to ascend. Choosing to ascend is a big one. So, um, yeah, I mean, the Divine Masculine is really saying like, hey, heart chakra, and hey, this is what I'm healing too, and this is what I invite you into. And this is nature heart chakra. So this is really like an invitation to romance yourself with the natural world, with grounding. And uh, the Divine Masculine is thinking about his Divine Feminine, is feeling his Divine Feminine, when he's in nature and that does mean his true twin flame you know whether uh, it looks like he's with someone else or uh, in any form of separation the truth is that you're designed to be together and so that real divine romance that you sometimes feel at least i feel you know in nature i don't know if you ever feel that too right like with flowers or trees or whatever in a lake you know uh but yeah, like you're, you're uh, gonna feel that in your heart with your twin flame and it's safe to feel that. And this is saying like, you gotta uh, surrender more to allowing your twin flame to really experience the fullness of his feelings and know that those feelings are in truth not, um, not separate from the love that he has for you deep in his heart and this is going to help create room because he desires to also express it naturally is what i'm receiving from this card as well so uh just nature isn't just about being in nature it's also about being your natural self i don't know i guess my hair is looking natural i don't know why i did that so yeah keep that in mind
we're gonna pull another card or two from um, from getting the Divine Masculine's all about the, uh, the Psychic Trio for the heart deck. And so, you know, I wanna uh, ask a specific question for the Divine Feminine right now, which is just like, well, how is my September looking? Like, what is it that is going on between us in September, okay? So again, I shuffled and I'm cutting the cards and the first card from the Divine Masculine is Throat Chakra. Now the Throat Chakra isn't just associated with talking or singing or breathing, it's also associated with listening. You know, your ears are in the same vicinity. Um, and so, you know, you can go deeper with listening to your own self and the Divine Masculine is saying that that's really attractive to him is when you actually just listen to your inner child and stuff and you are able to express from that innocent place but also express the fullness of your Divine Feminine self, of your womanhood. Uh, and whether that's directly to your twin flame or just in your life, you know, on social media, wherever, uh, that's a magnetic pull. And so the Divine Masculine is and gently uh, but definitely encouraging this from you. And, um, you know, when you do it, you're really encouraging your Divine Masculine as well to do this. And if, again, if you're the Divine Masculine watching this, you know, you can take note from your side uh, how you're feeling about this and, and apply it and, um, yeah, feel into the throat chakra area, feel into, how do I feel uh, like I'm focused more on me right now uh, consciously? Or am I also focused on my twin flame in my heart? Am I able to love her and go to that place? And it's okay either way, you know, to be honest. Because the truth is, we're always loving our twin flames in our hearts. So if you need to focus on yourself first, that's perfectly fine. Um, and really, you're always, you, you know, you're always loving yourself. You're always putting yourself first, not in a, like, selfish way way but in the way where it's like you know you can't you can't help someone else unless you have uh, enough in you to be able to extend yourself and even with your twin flame if you're somehow not loving yourself in the mix and you're putting them uh, first in a way that doesn't actually honor or feel good to you then something is amiss. It doesn't mean you can't, like, do what is considered compromising. We can't always have, like, I need it this way and I need it this way, and these are two different ways. Well, yeah, I mean, we sometimes need to find what is the uh, place, what is the union here, right? So the way to get there, though, is, yeah, loving yourself, not by trying to bypass that and love someone else first and then try to get something. So next card from the Divine Masculine is Spread Your Wings, number two, number two for union. And you know, that's just, it's a very encouraging message. And well, it's also the Divine Feminine, you know, it looks like. And so he's just really encouraging you to go after your dreams, to take that next move, to invest in yourself. And this is going to feel not only good to you, but yeah, it's going to feel good to your union too, to your twin flame as well, uh, because your twin flame naturally does benefit from the highest vibration that you are choosing. And so when you're choosing union at your core and then you're making choices that reinforce that, that's very powerful and magnetic. And it also uh, encourages him to support you in continuing to do that, which would involves spreading your wings and when you spread your wings you know as a uh, Jeff and Shalia twin flame spiritual teachers my spiritual teachers say like it's like two wings on one bird you and your twin flame so 
what the Divine Masculine is really saying to you, like it's encouraging your your union, but through you being your full self and him being attracted to that, not by you trying to attract him. So that's cool. And uh, we're gonna wrap it up with just one more card for this reading for the month of September. And for this last card, let's mix it up a little bit and let's pull a crystal angels card okay so this is going to be just a general note to end on from the divine masculine uh some you know really some final thoughts from his highest self and that is stress reduction De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive watermelon tourmaline. And you can see how it's both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine here. So what he's really saying is like, hey, we are a team at heart no matter what it looks like on the outside uh, at, in any given moment, you know, because sometimes also in your union, things appear to fluctuate. And that's why you, I encourage you to look at the links below. I encourage you to book a discovery session or a reading and go deeper with supporting yourself and building the foundation to really do your inner work because if you're not it it's just gonna be rough you know and why do that to yourself like you're gonna we're all gonna invest in something can you invest in love first and is what I'm saying resonating does it feel like oh this could be for me so you know, there's nothing that needs to stop you. Nothing needs to hold you back. You don't need to feel bad about investing in love, you know. Uh, I know I was feel reflecting on that recently and just how, you know, a while back being like, oh, yeah, you can invest in this. This is a good thing, right? Because it's not just your love life. It, you know, it's about like eternal, not just stress reduction, but forever releasing the heaviness because you're ascending so you're leaving behind what isn't for you and how do you do that well yeah you have to invest in one way or another into love you have to find your way forward and if you always try to do it on your own it's gonna take like I don't know how many I want to say like 5,000 times as long or <laughs> just some absurd number but it's really not it's not a thing you know that you want to do a lot of people think that's how they want to do it and you you can learn the mirror exercise and get pretty far but then there's just from the very beginning you'll go so much faster and there's a certain point you're gonna hit a wall and you will uh, you'll need help because we're not meant to do this alone we're not created alone we're created as one child of God so we are meant to uh, work with each other so that is safe to uh, just Claim your support basically but also to like feel into what truly feels good to you yeah it takes work like anything else like going to the gym or something but are you willing to do that are you willing to give up an hour of your time for your eternal good and for like literally changing your life including your life purpose including your twin flame union like this card depicts right and so the divine masculine is encouraging you to reduce stress but also to put your energy then into the love life into this life of love uh, because no one's going to do it for you and your divine masculine doesn't need to do it for you either and uh, so yeah he's also just encouraging you to relax and to surrender is what I really get and that's the message we're going to end on is really for you to surrender into what you find most blissful and know that that is for you and to take just one step forward uh just one step forward and feel how good that feels and so remember that throughout the month of september to relax and surrender and everything else we went over and you're gonna do really well it's gonna be a beautiful month and so yeah i hope you enjoyed this reading and get in touch with me or comment below if you have any thoughts or questions and I will catch you later. Take care. Bye.